<laughs> that first talk, you know, it's a doozy. Uh, hey everyone, Anthony here. In this video, uh, we're gonna be fixing the walls. We're gonna be taking out the screws that are in the walls and getting them prepped and ready for paint. Before I go into all that stuff, all this house stuff is kind of slowing down. I'm, I have to be on my tippy toes because I don't know how to love get my camera right. All this house stuff is kind of going to be slowing down because so all the floor stuff today is July, the, either the last day of June or the first day of July, one of those things. The tiles are not here yet, which doesn't really matter because the tile installation guy isn't available until July 27, like a full month and a half since I initially contacted him. Uh, the tiles, I don't even understand what's going on with them. The shipping company, it's Estes, E-S-T-E-S, -E shipping, uh, in Jacksonville, like half an hour away from here. The tiles have been sitting there since the 22nd of July, or, or it's 22nd of June. They've just been sitting there. I called them up because it's like, all right, we're delivering them on the 22nd. And I called them up and they're like, all right, uh, we, they're loaded in the truck. They're, they're ready to go. You'll get them tomorrow, the 23rd. Well, the 23rd came and I'm waiting at my house and I'm like, all right, I gotta, I want to go out, get something to eat. So I didn't want to leave my house if the shipment was going to come. So I called them up and they're like, oh, uh, we'll give you a call when they're going to be shipped, but you're not getting them today. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like I really don't need them until the 27th anyway. I told the person. Uh, so I'm not in a rush or whatever. That's what I told them. Now it's like a full week after that. And they've just been sitting apparently locked up in the shipping truck for an entire week. Three pallets of tiles plus an additional six cases of tiles for the bathroom. It makes me think that something's wrong with the tiles or something. Because how do you have like, it's been like 10 days already since they, it's been 10 days already since the tiles have just been sitting in the truck, not going anywhere, no update on shipping, none of that. So that's what's going on. I need to start all this painting stuff. I need to formulate a plan of what I'm doing. I also want to change all the lights up in here. And I don't know if I should do that before I paint. I, I really need to put together a plan of what I'm doing next. Should I call an electrician and, fi and figure out all these lights? Should I pick out, should I be searching on Home Depot to pick out what these lights, what lights I should pick? But right now I have some spackle and some flat red boys. So we're gonna be fixing the walls. The other thing about these walls, and I'll take you off your, uh, your Ruby Tuesday. I'll take you off your tripod so I can show you guys this. All right, so that's just one of the screws coming up, but I want to show you these walls are textured. They're not just regular flat walls. So I had to buy texture spray, which is fine. It just comes in an aerosol can. Actually, I can maybe show you. It's actually a fairly, uh, fairly full bottle. This was in my garage when I moved in here, but this is a texture spray, orange peel texture spray that we're going to be putting on the walls over the spackle because it's going to look stupid to have uh, like on the walls. Uh, it's going to be hard to or it's going to be silly to have flat, smooth spackle on the walls. It's going to stand out. So you have to retexture them. And then that's the other problem is this thing, this chalkboard thing here. I'm thinking about leaving it. I honestly wouldn't mind leaving it like I can write notes on it or whatever. But the problem is those white things, because there used to be shelves in there, they're wall anchors. And if I take them out, there's just going to be holes in the chalkboard, holes behind the wall or whatever. So I would have to remove the whole chalkboard. And in order to remove the chalkboard, we got to remove the molding behind it. And I don't really know how the molding is attached. Like, obviously, there's no screws at least poking through. But I think it's just one of the things where I have to take a pry bar to it. And then I might have to do drywall work as well. And then there's these lights up here too. And I don't 
want these lights. I'd rather just have this as a just gray wall and remove all this stuff. But then I have these wires here. I have the light switch right there to control the lights. So I don't really know what to do about that. But that's the state of things right now. I'm going to start working on these walls. I'll toss on the GoPro or something. I don't know. It's, it's kind of just boring stuff working on these walls. So I don't know what to really show you guys. And the house is filled with these hook things and they're not too bad, but the there you can see like the nail it's angled in it's not just flat driven into the wall it's hammered down into the wall so it's a little bit harder to pull out but uh you just you just get a pry bar and lift up on it and in here is their next choice of uh hardware i know you guys aren't in focus is these wall anchors which like you can just take the screws out of them, but there's a wall anchor left in there. And I'm afraid, cause I know what these anchors look like. I'm afraid that if I pull one out, then I'm gonna damage the drywall and that's gonna be a big thing for me to fix. Either having to cut out the drywall and put in a new piece of drywall, which means I have to buy drywall and I don't wanna do that. Or just filling it with spackle, which I guess would be fine but that's also kind of a lot of more work than i want to do because i have to spackle and then orange peel it like i really want to do that because i'm like i don't want any remnants of the old owners in my house and seeing those things in the walls is going to remind me of the old owners in one sense it's like oh it's not actually my house unless i rip out these things and do all this work but on the other hand is it really that big of a deal well, you know, some of the anchors that they put in aren't too bad to take out. I didn't want to take it out, but it came out by accident. But you just stick a screwdriver in the old blue driver and uh, just twist it out. I'll show you the hole that it leaves in the wall, though. Not too bad. Yeah, so that's the hole that's left. It's probably about the size of a dime, a little bit bigger than a dime. We just like fill that with spackle. That's no problem. And there's a couple on the top of my... Uh, office too but then there's these ones here i don't know how well you're gonna see them but then there's these ones here too and they don't have a screw phillips thing in it for you to twist them out so i'm gonna leave these ones in all right guys i did buy paint this battery is gonna die in like two seconds i did buy paint so we're definitely painting my office soon we're gonna paint all this like I was all concerned about like, oh, I don't want to put blue paint into the paint sprayer and then have to clean the paint sprayer before we go to gray. So I want to paint everything blue all at once. I can probably still do that, but I wanted to paint the whole house all at once. But no, we're just going to focus just on my office now because it gets way too overwhelming with me doing like, oh, focusing on a hundred different things at once. What we're going to be doing now is using this wall texture. This can came with the house. What you do, I guess, and I'm I'm not even gonna read the instructions. This thing adjusts the, the uh, thickness. What it does is it splatters like spackle or whatever this is onto the wall. And you adjust the density of the splatter with this thing. And I don't know which density? I don't even know how you turn this on. Maybe I should read a little bit of instructions. But basically, you get your density right on this, you spray the wall with it, and then uh, you match it to this texture that's already here. Some wall textures need you to go over it with a spackle putty knife thing to smooth it out. Uh, other ones, I think this might be okay just spraying it, uh, but we'll see. I have a feeling we should try with the new one first, just in case this is clogged and that's why it's not coming out. I really want to get this first spray. On the wall so you can see me do it. All right. Oh, this has this thing in it. Remove tab. Okay. What the fuck? 
All right, let's, uh, let's spray it into a box first. <laughs> this might be a time to read the instructions type thing. Okay, so I looked and I'm doing it right, but I'm also doing it wrong. Pretty much you're supposed to spray and move. So I don't know what this is like, but you're supposed to spray and move. Let's see. I'm just gonna say that is good enough, uh, or maybe too much. Okay, I figured out what was going on, what was wrong. Basically, this, this black piece has to screw inside of this. What happens is if you twist it off, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about. Basically, if you twist it off, this comes out. So you have to twist this to screw into these threads. The problem is I don't know what place to start with this, what position to start. So it's kind of, not calibrated, I guess. Uh, see, so you start screwing it in. So now it's screwed into this, but I don't know, cause this is marked heavy and fine. Uh, I don't know which is heavy and which is fine anymore, but basically you have to have it locked in and then you just spray it like, like that. And uh, I think this stuff has to be really fine because this is a little bit of a different texture so i'll uh which way is really fine i don't know anymore i think maybe this way has to be thick i think and uh it's basically the closer this is when this screws in the closer this is the more fine it gets and then the further it's out, the more gloopy it gets, I think, or it's the opposite of that. But that's the action is this going in or out, this white piece moving in and out, this screwing the white piece in tighter or looser is what makes the, the action right. So basically with this, cause this wall texture is more fine than the blue wall that we were looking at, this I'm gonna have to scrape, scrape a little bit to get it flatter but we're gonna let it dry a little bit first. This way, when we scrape it, we're not just wiping it off. So I'm gonna do the rest of the, these walls in here and uh, get back to you. I might be better off just spraying the whole wall so that it's all even. And then I don't have to match and I have four cans of this stuff. Could do, something to think about. The other thing to remember to think about is, let's say that this is put on a little bit too thick or a little bit too fine. Once you paint over that, it's not gonna stand out as much. I think, I'm not an expert, I think it will. And then like the last thing I wanna say about this, don't worry if you don't have the, the this nozzle set perfectly because you can adjust the fineness of it by spraying really fast or from a further distance from the wall as well and that'll change the thickness of it that ends up on the wall all right and here's a trick for tight spaces you'll find like say you have like a tight space and you're in this closet you can't get far enough away from the uh thing to get an even spray pattern because you'll be way too close to it you'll be spraying from like six inches away or just spray out a big blotch so here's the trick for that don't worry about it. It's a closet. How many guests do you have in your closet? None. Unless you're a weirdo. But we don't be weirdos, especially not on YouTube. All right, guys. So this is the money maker I'd be shaking and working with. I end up doing, you can't really see it that well in this room. Uh, oh, it looks kind of splotchy in some spots. It's okay. Like we always get ourselves worked up about every little thing. Like, oh, everything has to be perfect. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's your house and things are just gonna happen in your house. And I think that's the cool part is that there's little, 
things like this, like little mismatching, uneven type things that are only, I don't even know if you're in focus. You're definitely not. Little mismatched, uneven things that just happen in your house that are you and that tell a story. Like a perfectly white painted trim all the way around, perfectly, like obviously this, this stuff is left over from the old owner, the dirty trim or whatever. So it's not like, all mine and perfect like that. But you know, say like, I was thinking about trim, like when you paint the trim, you're gonna wanna paint every trim so that you don't have like, oh, this one is fresh white and then this is dirty because I only painted like this section. But to do that, you have to paint all the trim in your house because you can't stop right there because now you're gonna have a dirty door. So you have to go all the way around there. And then here, well, you can't stop here because uh, you know, it's your, but that tells a story. If you do have mismatching trim and stuff like that, it tells a story. So anyway, what I wanted to say was all these walls, you can see, I didn't just do one little area. I ended up blending it out and doing the entire walls. So it's drying right now. So you can't see too much of a contrast there with the white spray against the textured walls. Maybe you can see it here, but yeah, I blended it out. So it's, uh, it's it's better like I, I probably could have went all the way down to the bottom here but who like i said who cares and then here's this room this is kind of a room that i kind of that i went crazy in it's where i started going crazy in but uh we blended out we did like this entire back blue wall in it looks like clouds and then the white you can't really tell too much on the white because there's no contrast. So I can't tell how thick or how thin I even applied it. Hopefully it's good, but who knows? And like I said, who cares? And then the last is the bathroom. 